Museums have thousands of items in their collections, and each has its unique history. This is the story of the world's oldest revolver. The revolver is a flintlock revolver. Flintlock is the term for the firing mechanism. A flintstone strikes against metal, creating sparks that ignite the gunpowder. Gunpowder and the energy created fires the bullet inside the chamber. The revolver has eight chambers for eight bullets. The cylinder with all the chambers rotates or revolves, hence the name revolver. On the side of the gun there is a stamp mark. This is the signature of the weapon producer. The signature has the shape of a horse spur. This tells us with certainty that it was made by a German weapon blacksmith named Hans Stoppler. Hans Stoppler made revolvers and other guns from 1597 in Nuremberg. Nuremberg in central Germany was known for its weapons production and weapons were needed. Wars between kings and states, Protestants and Catholics raged in Europe. Most notable was the Thirty Year War between 1618 and 1648. King Christian IV of Denmark in Norway played a key role in this war from 1625 to 1629, but the king had to withdraw after a decisive defeat against Emperor Ferdinand. We do not know who first owned the gun, but a silver label gives us the first certain clue. On the gun's handle, a silver tag was placed, engraved with acanthus decor, a grape cluster, the year 1636, and the name Georg Reichwein. Georg Reichwein was born in the city of Magdeburg in Hessen in 1593. He was a military officer and fought in the Thirty Year War on the Danish-Norwegian side. In 1628, Reichwein travelled to Norway, along with several other officers, to build up the Norwegian army. The label placed in 1636 was no coincidence. This year, Reichwein was appointed major and commander of the forces in Bergen. He was successful as an officer and played an important role in the defence of Norway in the wars against Sweden. During the Hannibal feud from 1643 till 1645, he participated in several battles against Swedish forces in the border areas. For his efforts, Georg Reichwein was knighted in 1655. Proudly, he made his own coat of arms, which is surprisingly similar to the silver tag on the revolver handle. This coat of arms is visible on a cabinet owned by his son, Georg Reichwein, also colonel, who served in the county of Oplan in Norway. Reichwein's son owned several farms where Lillehammer city today is located, and the cabinet is exhibited at Maihaugen Museum. In 1657, a second war began between Denmark-Norway and Sweden. Trondheim city had been occupied for three years by enemy forces. Colonel Georg Reichwein led the charge of a 3,000 strong force and recaptured the city. General Major Georg von Reichwein died in 1667 in Bergen and the story of one of Norway's most important officers ends. The history of the world's oldest revolver is, however, not over, even though it seems forgotten for more than 150 years. In 1834, the revolver reappears in Oslo. Thales Sko, a city merchant, sold the gun to the Museum of Antiquities, but... The founder of Maihaugen Museum in Lillehammer, Anna Sandvik, was very interested in weapons. So, in 1919, he negotiated with the Museum of Antiquities in Oslo and they agreed on a mutual exchange of objects. This is how the revolver has become one of Maihaugen's most valuable objects.